G'day guys, welcome back to Divers World here in Cairns. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the um, free dive computers and dive watches available on the market at the minute. Now um, it's a almost an essential piece of equipment now for free diving. You know, we all started free diving and, and spear fishing because we love the simplicity and and the freedom of the sport. But obviously, humans being technically minded and uh, advancing with technology, um, we want to know and our digits, you know, of what our performances were on our dives when we, uh, myself included, you know, become infatuated with um, in knowing what we're doing at depth and how we're performing. So um, today I'll tell you a little bit about the um, dive computers, which is now almost an essential piece of equipment for us as free divers and spear fishermen. It's a definitely a, a safety um, tool that we use um, in all our underwater operations, even for obviously scuba diving, it's been a must for um, since dive gauges were designed and invented, but now as uh, free divers, it's become a, a useful tool. Um, basically, with the free dive computers available on offer these days, the more you pay, generally gets you more functions. Okay, for a workhorse um, dive computer or watch, for your average spear fisherman who's pretty rough on their gear, spear fisher woman, I should say as well. Um, you can't really go past the Oceanic F10. Okay, I ran one of these for five years, and um, it was a great computer. Very f simple to use uh, in a watch mode. This one's um, obviously asleep still, um, but your time and the day uh, and the date. So um, when you go to a, the free dive mode or activate it, they're water activated, um, so you don't need to. Um, know what you're doing, you just put it on and when you jump in the water, she turns on and starts telling you. Now the reason we use a dive watch for free diving is not so we know how long or how deep uh, we're going, that's a bonus, but it's more so so we know how long we spend on the surface recovering between the dives. Okay, so just as a rule of thumb, uh, a very basic rule of thumb, if you spend a minute down at depth, you want to spend at least two minutes on the surface recovering before you, for your next dive. So. Um, wear a watch or dive watch or not, just try and follow that um, simple uh, procedures for your recovery. Now will aid in better diving and, and safer diving. Um, so that's why we started wearing dive watches to, to see how long we were breathing up on the surface for before our dive. Uh, we weren't falling asleep, but we also weren't uh, pushing ourselves. Um, so the F10 simple, effective workhorse computer. It's got the user replaceable battery. It comes with the tool, so if you're on a dive trip, you can bring one of the CR2430s, I believe they are. A little battery you can get from your dive shop or a chemist and change it yourself, okay? It's very simple to change. Um, the functions of it, once you learn them, like anything, it is very simple. You've got three depth alarms as well and a time alarm. You can use it as a stopwatch. It's pretty much got everything you need for any sort of free diving activities, okay? Um, the next one is the Cressy Drake. Um, this was released a bit later on the market. Um, this one's got the big cover on it. You come, you can take the cover off, it's a bit more stylish without the cover, obviously. The Drake, uh, once again, designed for free divers and spear fishermen in mind. Um, free divers in particular, it's got a dynamic setting in it and a static setting, so if you're doing your pool activities, um, it's got a purpose-built um, algorithm for monitoring those, those activities and, and monitor your performance. It gives you an average of your depths, um, and your time if you're spear fishing, same thing. If you're wearing it as an everyday watch, you've got your time, your date, and your dual time as well. So you can keep tabs on how your folks are going overseas. Um, changing the battery wise, you got a, it's a dealer replaceable battery. So just drop it back into your dive shop and get your um, dive shop to change it. Shouldn't be too expensive. It's just a simple penny type style battery. But um, you know, you should get a couple of years before you need to worry about all that. These are both 100 meters, um, oh sorry, 100 meter water um, capability, 150 meter. So if you're doing um, some extreme free diving and stuff, um, definitely you want that little bit of um, capability, um, having the 150 meter range. Now the latest on the market, um, which is basically making everyone go crazy, is the Garmin Descent. Why this computer is being so popular? And uh, why we love it so much is because it can do absolutely everything. It's not just a um, free diving watch, not just for spear fishing. You can do scuba and you can answer, basically read your um, text messages on it. 
it's a smart watch, okay? So uh, it's fully compatible with everything um, that your phone, any application you can, you can, it's even got a heart rate monitor in it, so you can monitor your heart rate um, whilst you're holding your breath, which is a, a really cool thing to see these days. Um, the watch itself doesn't, um, the battery is not a replaceable battery, whilst instead you charge it just like you would your cell phone. Um, it comes with a little capsule that goes around and you plug it in with USB. You get a few days um, working charge out of it. If you're not diving as well, um, you get a lot longer charge out of it. Another cool feature is the removable um, strap, so they can easily be removed or replaced to change to the different, um, different sizes. Um, so basically, as a diving computer, fully adjustable um, algorithm in them. So what that means is basically you're not set to uh, a conservative mode. If you want to dive um, as extreme as you want, it's going to give you the minimal or the maximum time at depth before you, your um, nitrogen levels are too high. So it's um, adjustable to the user basically. If you're um, perhaps a bit older, a bit unfit or a bit more concerned for your safety when you're scuba diving, you can put conserva conservative factors into it um, to give you Minimal, well, less bottom time than something um, else. But for a commercial diver, um, it's it's the business. Basically, you can do everything with it. Um, for when it comes to scuba or hooker diving, if you're a spear fisherman, it's got a hunt mode in it. And if you're a free diver, it's a free dive mode. And yeah, of course, you can use it as an everyday watch as well and reply to your text or read your text messages and things like that. Incoming calls from your smartwatch. So Garmin. Um, you know, leaders in marine electronics, in my opinion, uh, on boats for years. I, I, can, I know, I trust, I like Garmin. And the final reason why people are going crazy for the Garmin is the GPS factor. Basically, marine charts can be loaded onto your watch and you can mark spots and return to that same um, rock or favorite diving site uh, as you wish. So that's, uh, that's incredible change, you know, in technology that we can actually have that information at our well at our wrists basically these days it's pretty cool um so garmin marine charts on your watch you can read your text messages see your heart rate everything you want and that's about it from me guys um any more questions with the uh free diving computers or dive computers see the guys here at uh, divers world i'm sure they'll point you in the right direction and give you the best deal thanks